before you even put in the application to come out here to Prime Inc. to get your CDL. You should go and get a permit book and start studying for your permit to take your permit test. Now, you don't have to have a permit to apply, but it sure does make things easier. If you go and get your permit, you take the test, that's less stress that you have. You'll be able to have your permit already. You've read through the book. You kind of know what you're getting into. Next, I would say communication with your family. Let your spouse know. Let your kids know. Let anybody that you need to tell them, hey, I'm going to be at you know, Springfield, Missouri or Pittston or Utah or wherever the case may be. I'm going to be in trucking school, so I'm going to be gone for a while. Make sure that they understand it. Let them know about trucking. You have a good support system. It's going to make things easier because your family will push you and help you to keep going, keep yourself motivated. So make sure that your family knows what's going on. It's going to take a toll on your family. Like I would be lying to you if I said that it's not going to affect your wife. It's not going to affect your kids or your husband or your kids or, you know, it's not going to affect them because it does. One of my, one, my daughter, she started not doing so good in school like her grades were kind of dropping and she actually started having to start see the school counselor because she wasn't used to daddy being gone I was there with her all the time like you know she's she was a big daddy's girl when she was a baby she would only let me hold her so like we were really attached and because I up and left to come to trucking she didn't understand it so she actually had a tough time dealing with me being gone so make sure that your family understands it and even talking to them about trucking and like hey I got to do this you know I, I need to do this I'm trying to provide a better future for you they're still not going to understand it but at least they're kind of a little bit more prepared by you leaving so make sure your family knows also make sure that you save up some money like you don't want to come out here just broke make sure you save up some money however much it may cost to pay your bills while you're gone make sure you stack up some money to take care of that stuff you don't want to come out here and have a whole bunch of bills and then you're on some borrowed money for a while till you get your permit or till you get your cdl excuse me so you get your cdl you're going to be on like a borrowed $200 a week that you can borrow. Like that's not going to cover your bills. That's going to be like for you to eat out here, get shower shoes, get bedding, get stuff like that that you need during this process. Once you get to the TNT phase, it's going to be a lot smoother. You know, you're going to be making money because you're going to be hired on. During that PSD phase, you're not hired on. You're working, you're trying, you're get, learning the, how to back, you're learning how to drive, you're learning the skills you need to pass the test. So during that time, you're not getting a paycheck. It's kind of like you're in the interview, you're in the interview trying to get the job. Now, after you pass your test and you get your CDL, hey, Prime got you. you, you're hired on. Now you're starting to make money. So make sure you stack up some money to get yourself ready. Before you apply, some people might say I'm wrong for this, but before you apply, I would kind of like get my ducks in order. Like if I could get rid of like a car that I'm not going to need, like say I can trade it in and get a cheaper car payment, that's going to cost me less money. I might do that to save me some money. If I have an apartment and I'm not going to be living in it, I might go ahead and go ahead and get out of that apartment if I don't have a lease I might be like you know what I'm just gonna move out I'm gonna put my stuff in storage you know storage is gonna be a lot cheaper than paying rent electricity and all that stuff if you don't need it so like I would try to get rid of some of the financial burdens I had before I came here and I know a lot of people can't do that like I couldn't do that whenever I came out here I I was lucky because I paid off my car so I didn't have a car payment but I still have my house payment I, now that I think I have one car payment because one of my vehicles was not paid off. So I had a car payment. I had a house payment. You know, I had bills before I came out here. I was lucky because my job was still paying me for months and months and months after I quit because I had a lot of time built up. So I got lucky there. That helped me through the process. But try to have some money set back to pay for stuff. And if you can get rid of things, then go ahead and get rid of them. You might not 
You're not going to need your subscription to your or your internet bill at the house. Get rid of it. You're not going to be home for a little while. Get rid of it. You can turn it back on later. You know, just stuff like that. If you can get out of paying stuff, get rid of it before you come out here. You're about to live on a truck for a while. You know, people with family, you're not going to be able to do that. But start getting rid of some of that stuff. It, if possible, it'd be nice to stack up some money. Like, stack up some extra money. That way you're comfortable at the house and maybe you don't need to use the, the borrowed money from Prime. It That borrowed money from Prime that you pay back once you get hired, it's like a, it's a tax-free loan. like Or not tax-free, it's an interest-free loan. Prime doesn't charge you interest in it. So what they do is they loan you $200 a week till you get your CDL. And then they just take like $25, I, I believe it's $25 out of your check until it's paid off each week after you're hired on so it's not that big of a deal like i highly suggest i highly suggest if you need it use it i didn't need mine but i was all like you know what i'm looking around i'm asking my trainer hey does your truck come with this does your truck come with that what their startup cost to starting this i gotta buy load locks and stuff nobody told me i had to buy stuff to do my job i have to buy alloy locks like there's some costs when you get off of tnt so what I did is I took that money out and I just saved it. I put it up and I didn't touch it. I took it out in cash and I put it up and I didn't touch it. And I and I used it to buy like CB radio or like a GPS. I think I bought my GPS with it because I was all like, this GPS is going to be extra important because I was so nervous about driving that I was all like, if I have two different maps going at the same time, I'm sure one of them will take me there, <laughs> you know, because I was real nervous back then. You know, I still planned out my routes and still looked at, you know, the map and made sure I knew my way in and out of the place. But I was extra comfortable with the extra GPS. Looking back at it now, I think if I was moving into the wintertime, the most important thing would have been the CB radio. Because you can you can get early detections of like, hey, there's an accident up there. You know, maybe this is going on, that's going on. Whatever the case may be, you know ahead of time what's happening. So there's, there's a lot of things that you're going to have to do before you come out here and you're going to have to plan for stuff. Make sure you're doing plenty of research, research all the companies that you're looking into. Like I would search out three or four different trucking companies and just try to watch their videos or talk to their drivers or whatever the case may be. That way I was more knowledgeable with their company, how things work, how happy their drivers were. You know, I would read reviews, stuff like that. The more you research, the more understanding you're going to have. You know, at the end of the day, knowledge is power. So, you know, get all the knowledge you can. Other than that, pretty much after that is go ahead and apply. Use my driver code, COXDJO, as a referral maybe just saying but um apply put in your two weeks notice at work you know hey like don't put it in before you apply because what happens if you got something in your background that's preventing you or something you know make sure that you're you're set like make sure it's in stone all right we can set your orientation for next monday no 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 i gotta put in my two weeks notice at work if you want to put in a two weeks notice so like be like, can you kick that out for two Mondays and then go to work and say, hey, I want to put in my two weeks notice, you know, just be that way. You never know. You might need to come back to that job one time. Not everybody, not everybody I trained came out here and just loved trucking and was all like, hey, this is it. I'm doing this for the rest of my life. I had people that came out here and they're all like, man, I love driving the trucks. I love bagging the trucks, but I don't like the living. And I'm all like, okay, well, why don't you go do it locally at home, you know? And it's surprisingly, you'll find people that are like, you know what? One of the worst things was dealing with the shippers and receivers. So I don't even want to deal with that. And some of the shippers and receivers, they do talk to you rough. I don't understand why, but it's, you know, they, it's like they don't respect you sometimes. And that's some of the stuff that you have to deal with out here is, you know, you're the professional and you're all like, oh yeah. I mean, I'm not letting no one walk over me, but sometimes people have some attitudes. You know, at the end of the day, though, hey, I get in my load there. I delivered it. You know, I'm gone. The shipper, 
you know the business is looking good because you delivered your load you were you just kept yourself professional kill them with kindness and just go on about your day so like comment and subscribe remember the best way to do it is get that permit before you call the recruiter get that permit first then call the recruiter like comment and subscribe